This video is going to cover what a typical day and schedule is like for an engineering student. Many people have worries of will I be able to sleep, can I have a social life, how many hours will I study per day, and much more. And obviously there are many factors that depend on the person, but I'll tell you a little bit about my experiences as well as some people I knew. Now first, for the high school students watching, a typical college day is not as long as a high school day in terms of time in class. In high school you probably go from 7 or 8 a.m. to 2 or 3 p.m., which is around 7 hours including lunch. In college, even as an engineer, my average day was about three and a half to four and a half hours of class, and that four and a half was an extreme. That was very rare as an average for a given week. But normally these numbers were a little lopsided. So like Mondays would be six hours, which is long, but then Friday might only be an hour or two, or maybe even no class, and the rest of the week would fluctuate. So here's an example of my actual Monday schedule for my first quarter of my second year. The reason this day was long was because I had that Monday lab that was three hours long. But labs were usually only once per week for a given class. Tuesday then was a little better and only four hours long because there was no lab. My history class was only Tuesdays and Thursdays and differential equations had off on Mondays which is why you see it here. Then my Thursdays and Fridays were even shorter than this. And notice that you really don't have the same day twice in a row usually when it comes to college. So those were my four courses for that quarter. Typically one or two of those would have labs, which would be three hours for each given class. The lectures for my major classes would usually have one homework assignment due per week. The other classes like math sometimes required the homework assignment and sometimes it wasn't required. The labs would have one lab report due per week at the beginning of each lab, as well as a pre-lab normally. And some classes had weekly quizzes. And you also come across projects in various classes. In my digital design class, we had many programming assignments on top of the typical homework assignments. Then lastly, every class had on average two exams and a final throughout the quarter. Some had three exams and some had one, but on average it was two then a final. Everything you see here was very typical for me. This wasn't my hardest quarter, which was during my third year, but it also wasn't my easiest. And note, this was my schedule for my school and that is it. Other schools might have no homework required and some may require it every day. I had a quarter system while many schools have semesters. So I can't speak for everyone, but this is what I went through. So yes, this is a lot of work if you procrastinate. But once you see your schedule and know what kind of work it will involve, plan your time and figure out how you will do all this. Even if all your weekly assignments take you five hours each, which is a lot, that's more than I spent on most of my assignments, that only comes out to just over two hours per day of working on them if you spread it out, which is very manageable. But it's once you procrastinate and account for everything else like midterms and papers, and that's when you run into trouble. Now when it comes to studying, they say you should spend two to three hours outside of class for every unit you're enrolled in which for a typical semester or quarter would be around 30 to 40 hours per week on average. Before school, that number scared me, but then I realized during school I really didn't do this every week. I also checked out some forums for this video and asked around, and found that most people weren't working this much every single week. And then I came across a study that said the average engineering student studies 19 hours per week on average, and that sounded more reasonable and more similar to what I did during school. But let me explain this. This was the average and it does fluctuate. In your first, let's say two weeks, you may do only 10 to 15 hours of studying per week or even total if it's an easy semester. But then a few weeks later when you have three midterms, a paper and two homework assignments due all in the same week, then you may be doing those 30 to 40 hour weeks leading up to that. So yes, you will have a lot of work and you might have to miss that party or social event with your friends every now and then but you typically won't be working those 30 to 40 hours per week every single week like you may hear of. But of course there are exceptions to this. Some people take those semesters with a lot of units and they are working way more. I had friends who took a programming class as an example where the teacher assigned a coding assignment due at midnight on that first day of class and from there the work just went up and very likely they did work 30 to 40 hours per week. Some people are in engineering clubs or competitions and on top of their normal schoolwork, they're also in the lab a lot. But again, many quarters or semesters will not involve the 30 plus hours of work per week every single week. But you will have a few where you are much busier than others. And to optimize your time, you have to have good time management. If we look back at my Monday schedule, notice I did not finish class until 6 p.m., at least when the labs went the full three hours, which they did not always do. 
but I didn't just start studying until like 7 o'clock when I got home at night. I used those gaps you see for doing work. During this break, I jumped right into my circuits homework because the material was fresh in my head and I remembered to bring my textbook with me. And that right there is one hour of work. Then I would repeat that during the next break and that's another hour. Then if I do one more hour later in the day, that's three hours of work I got to do and most of it was done before 3 p.m. Then since I didn't have to do as much work later on, I was able to go to the gym after class or just relax later at night rather than keep doing all the homework that I procrastinated. I definitely wasn't always able to do this because two hours isn't that much studying, but it did help free up my time later in the day and into the night. The other option is to wait till I get home at maybe 6.30 or 7, then I have to work all those three hours and won't be done with that same material until around 10 at night. But overall, there's so much variation from person to person. Your third year will be more difficult than your first. Some quarters or semesters you will have that one class that everyone is scared of because it's known to be very difficult. Some people take longer to learn new material. I had roommates for one quarter I just never saw them because they were always working, but then that went away the next quarter. I had to pull an all-nighter for some programming assignments, but most quarters I wasn't doing that. I knew people in frats and sororities, people on sports teams, people who partied, people who frequently went to the gym, people with part-time jobs, and people involved in multiple extracurriculars and so on. I personally had a job my third and fourth year that took around 12 to 15 hours of work per week and I still managed to get through. Without that job I would have had even more time. Some weeks were definitely very stressful, but I knew I had to prepare for those properly. So can you have a social life? Of course you can. It might not be every week or even every semester if you really need to catch up, but if you learn to manage yourself, you can find a balance between everything. It is a ton of work, but start early in the term and try to keep up and you can definitely make it through. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.